This is the universe as we imagine it, objects floating quietly in space. This is the universe as scientists think it actually behaves, objects in space affected ever so slightly by gravitational waves, ripples in space-time caused, for example, by the merger of two black holes. The trick is to actually measure these gravitational ripples, and to do that you need a remarkably precise measuring instrument. You need an atom interferometer. Gravitational wave detection, this new carrier would allow us to go way further back in time. And looking at the Big Bang, it really increases our knowledge of cosmology. Theory says these ripples form when big objects like galaxies and stars move in the universe. Long since predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity, they've never been directly detected. Optical interferometry, that is, visible light measurements, could do the job, but previous mission concepts were very expensive. A ground-based observatory called Advanced LIGO may one day detect gravity waves. So why atom interferometry? Mind-boggling precision. By blasting rubidium atoms with carefully calibrated lasers to super-chill them right above absolute zero, a change in position of so much as a trillionth of a meter, a picometer, will show up, thus adding evidence to the theory. So, cutting-edge science or whiz-bang technology? Both, it turns out. Atom interferometry may be the best way to probe some of the most essential questions in astrophysics. But the new tools being built by the Goddard Space Flight Center and Stanford University will have other applications too. For example, they could more precisely track speed, orientation, and inertial changes in one of these. Or help NASA scientists figure out what asteroids like this are made of.